Hi, Paul here. I was the sound recordist for Single Mall TV in Paris during the Whiskey Chef Shoot with Martine Nouet. The following segment is one of Single Mall TV's most popular, with Martine taking us on a tour of one of the best known markets in Paris, as she selects ingredients to prepare a full meal with each course paired with whiskey. Her process was fascinating, and the markets located on Rue Pont Soleil in the famed Latin Quarter provide a colorful background on which Martine paints a fantastic feast. I hope you enjoy this Whiskey Chef segment as much as I enjoyed listening to Martine's colorful descriptions. We are in Rue Poncelet in the 17th district. It's a market street I used to shop in when I lived nearby. I've moved since then and I don't often come back, but it's an absolute gem. It's a, it's a well of treasure. Uh, we'll start with the cheese, but we'll go after to the, the fruit and coffee and we'll buy uh, seafood. Uh, when you do your whole market for the whole meal, I invite you for dinner tonight. This, there is a gem in this uh, street, which is Aleos, the cheese shop. Aleos, I've, I've known the shop for now maybe 15 years. Uh, I used to, to live nearby and I would do my market every week and really come with a big, big uh, choice of cheeses. It's really, it's, it's incredible. When you look at all the cheeses that you can find here, you don't know where to pick, uh, what to pick. And, uh, cheese and whiskey are a perfect uh, matching, so uh, today we'll buy cheese, but we're not going to serve wine with it, we'll choose our whiskies. Uh, Alexandre, how many cheeses do you have? Uh, in our shop we have about uh, 30, uh, 34, 400, 400, 400. 400, can you cheese. imagine that? And the cheese here, the cheeses uh, are not only uh, in display for sale, but they have been matured They've been home matured. The shop has uh, the cellars somewhere in another place of Paris where Philippe Aleos, Philippe is not here with us today, this morning, because he is working at the cellar and uh, looking after his cheeses. So here you're sure to really pick up the best cheese at its perfect maturity. Uh, we're in September. What cheeses would you recommend for a plateau de fromage? Uh, I, I will recommend uh, um, first uh, all the goat cheese. Let's all have these are goat. Let's have a look at the goat cheeses. Oh my uh, God! Mm. You have dry pieces. You have creamy pieces. Um, um, I, I think this rocamadour, very very creamy rocamadour. Rocamadour is uh, really creamy. You have uh, also briquette. Mm -hmm. Oh. The rocamadour, which I see here, is it, it's a quite a creamy cheese, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. We have another creamy pieces like uh, rocamadour. Uh, this one is uh, also creamy, but it's not goat. It's uh, sheep cheese. A uh, you, yes. You, you. Yeah, uh -huh. you, you, yes. You, 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 um, so. so I think well. I have a, a, a bourbon I really like, which is Basil Aden, and it's, it has a great proportion of rye in it. And when with rye, which has this little sourness, uh, fruity sourness, I think that will be perfect with the rocamadour. So we'll go for a rocamadour for the cheese, for the goat cheese. And then we'll, I think you told me about uh, your Beaufort and your, Beaufort your Comté. Comté mm -hmm. or, uh, maybe, uh, Old, uh, old Mimolette. Old this Mimolette. Is age is about uh, 30 months old. Oh, 30 months old. So it must be really dry and... It's, uh, uh, it's really dry and uh, a really good flavor. So that will go with um, the, the Glen Kinshi, a very malty uh, whiskey on, on cereal notes. And, uh, and I serve my Glen Kinshi slightly chilled. 
I could do that also with Edonism, the grain whiskey from Compass Box. That, that would be a, a perfect matching. They are mild, sweet whiskey, and you would think that the mimolette would be too strong, but no, the mimolette will accept this fruitiness and the, the two is it's quite an opposition really it's not a complete not complementary but uh, it's quite characterful so we'll go for that and the the conte at the moment is quite young you said um, yeah it's quite young but uh, it's, uh, it's fruity uh, it's it, really it fruity. will be fruity too and the conte here is only 18 months old but in a few weeks, um, uh, they will bring the, the old one, 36 months old, which has its little grain of salt in it. There's no salt on whiskey in whiskey, we said, but there's salt in cheese. And that, then with a, a very matured Conte, you can go to um, quite full-bodied whiskey and even try a peated whiskey. Try a Ben Riach from Speyside, maybe not an Isla whiskey, but uh, Ben Ria, the 10-year-old Ben Ria Curiositas, that will be quite a punchy uh, matching. So we'll go for that. And now we go to the blue cheeses, one of my favorite. And, and uh, don't think that there's only one or two kinds of cheeses, of blue cheeses in France. Look at that. And there's not, not only French cheeses, of course, but uh, the Gorgonzola, the Italian one. Then we go also to the Stilton. And this Bleu de Terre Mignon, very, very much uh, matured. Uh, is, is it a cow, cow's milk? Uh? Yeah, all, all the blue cheese are, are made with cow milk. All of them? And, uh, all, of, all of that. Blue, uh, the blue, uh, the Termignon is uh, one of the strongest blue we have. It's a natural one. Yes, when you, when you look at it, you, 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 can, you can really already taste it and it will be, that's very, very strong. So for, for a Blue de Termignon, I haven't tasted it, but I would really go for a very, very uh, strong whiskey. So what, the type of malt which, uh, to, for me, go well with, with blue cheeses are, first of all, all the peated, smoky one, and especially the Isla, Ardbeg, La Gavoline, uh, Colila a bit less, but Lafroeg, Lagavulin, Ardbeg are really the, the best one. Or um, if you take some uh, whiskies which have been finished in port, like the wonderful Balvenie 21 year old, this would be a delicate matching with uh, um, a Fourme d'Ambert, maybe, which is in the, uh, made in the center of France. And the Roquefort, uh, which are saltier and, and a bit more tangy would rather go with the art bag so but uh, the difference is that uh, Roquefort is made with you milk Roquefort is made with you milk yes and you, we have here one two three four different uh, Roquefort and and you see that it's veined differently some are bluer than others so some will be creamier some will be more tangy but uh, it's this just uh, wonderful too yeah, yeah. this one is a less uh, salty no, this one is a bit the strongest. Yes, the Carl, the, the Carl, is it? Yeah. So all these are made in the same area and uh, all is natural. And here we're in the land of non-pasteurized uh, cheeses, of course. There may be one or two pasteurized, but um, we are in France, one of the last countries to struggle for that. And, uh, and, and I mean, we will not give up. Uh, there's no way uh, we we eat these rubbery cheeses. Uh, it's not our taste, and uh, I think it's not people's taste. We are, uh, if you are a gourmet, you really want the, your t cheeses to be tasty. And the other thing uh, is, in France, we, n we would never match uh, uh, eat our w uh, cheeses with biscuits or crackers. It's not a cracker. A cracker is not a cracker, really. We'd rather have real bread um, either and you have a, a whole uh, selection of bread you can you can choose this one is made it's artisanal bread it's a it's a yeasty bread it's un pain au levain and it has this uh, little touch of, of sourness which will um, really marry with the creaminess of a cheese and for me as a norman i would never have my cheese without a good spread of butter on my um, on my bread and at Aleos I'm in heaven because there are different uh, type of, uh, of butters and here we have uh, Norman butter, my region, 
and uh, we have also a, 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 a butter from Brittany, Bordier, who is a, Bordier uh, provides supplies all the grand chef with butter and his butter. So it's salty butter, but it's really really tasty. And and here you really taste what you eat. I mean, you will keep it in your mouth and it will linger. That's why you go for uh, also real characterful whiskies. Um, Aleos is a, it's really a little heaven in this uh, Rue Poncelet for cheese. Uh, it's really the shop I would recommend. They're in Paris, but they also um, send their cheeses all over the planet, even in the States. So that's a real challenge to send uh, uh, tasty and smelly cheeses in, in, in the States, but they manage it in Japan. So uh, you can have your, che your cheeses delivered to your home. It's a bit costly, but uh, it's worth it. So we really thank you very much, Alexandre. We, now, now, I, I mean, I would, I would like to, to, to go with the whole shop. <laughs>